Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to do a really quick tutorial for you guys um, about bottle cap charms um, or bottle cap embellishments depending on how they're being used. Um, I know a lot of people always ask um, how do you flatten them, you know, how do you put the hole in them, etc, etc. So I'm going to show you guys all of that today. I actually did this video months ago and um, I never got around to uploading it. And I think it's floating around in my videos folder, but there's like a thousand videos in there. Um, so I'm just going to reshoot it really quickly um, to show you guys. So you can buy bottle caps in several different ways. You can buy them with liners, without liners, flattened, not flattened, with holes, without holes. Um, you can buy colored ones such as these. I have a white one somewhere, I can't find it. I lost my white one. But colored like this, but um, they're colored on the on the back side, but not on the inside. These ones, oh, here's one with a liner. How interesting. Oh, these colored ones have liners. I didn't even notice them. Um, these ones right here, which I'll be using for the sake of this tutorial, um, have no liners in them. And I will put the, the name of the person, the, the supplier that I buy my caps and, and epoxy stickers from below. I know sometimes people don't really like to share that information. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll put it down below. I'm not planning on uh, selling bottle cap charms anytime soon. So, um, to flatten them, there are two ways. The simplest way is, if you have a big shot, move my stuff out of the way here. If you have a big shot, you would put your big shot on tab one of your with your multi-purpose platform. Um, put your plate down. Put your bottle caps um, open side up, as many as you want to flatten. Put your second plate on, and I'm going to have to move my big shot forward a little bit here. This I'm using my HP camera, which isn't a very good camera, but it's like on constant um, zoom, so it's really close. Um, run them through your big shot. I just put mine through and then pull them out, like so, and voila, your caps are flattened. Now, when you do this, they may be um, stuck in your plate a little bit. Just pluck them out. You know, see that one is a little bit stuck. Because my plates are seriously a hot mess. <laughs> Look. I mean, that's bad. So it doesn't really matter. But um, it might scratch up your plates a little bit. Don't worry about it. It doesn't harm your plates. So there's your flattened bottle caps. Um, now, if you're going to color them, alcohol ink them, etc., etc., I would do it now. Um, to put, there's this, oh, I'll show you the second way to flatten them. If you do not have a big shot and you want to flatten your bottle caps, this could get a little bit loud, so you might want to turn down the volume a little bit. Look, I actually broke my stick. I'm using a paint stick that you get, you know, with your paint, and I'm simply going to lay it. Now, the paint stick is just slightly thinner than the bottle cap itself. So to do this with a paint stick, if you have a piece of wood, just put the wood on top and smash it. But I'm gonna do this with the, I feel like my mat, this my mat, my mat is a mess. I need a new one. Um, okay, so here comes the noise. So turn down the volume. Now because the paint stick is shorter, I'm gonna do a half turn like that and do it again. Take my finger out. Sort of messed it up over there. there we go. And there's your flattened bottle cap. There's absolutely no difference between the one done in the big shot and the one done with the paint stick. None whatsoever. So if you have a piece of wood as opposed to um, a paint stick, then go ahead and use that. Also, using my paint stick. To put a hole in it, what I do is, I have the bottle cap right here. Oh, here comes my four-year-old. She didn't particularly care for the banging. 
Sorry, that was just mummy fixing a bottle cap. It's okay, baby. Go watch cartoons. I'm almost done. Sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> make sure nobody in your house is, is resting or anything when you do that. Okay, to put the hole in the bottle cap, what I'm going to do is I will put it on zoom for one second to show you guys this. What I'm going to do is, where can I find the lens? Is I'm going to put the hole right here. Right on this, right in the center of this here is exactly where I'm going to hold my nail. Unless, of course, I drop it on the floor. <laughs> then I'm not going to be holding it anywhere. And of course I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm just going to get one. Where's the box now? Here it is. So I'm going to hold my nail and I'm going to put it right against the ridge right here. Right there. Ouch. There you go. So now metal on metal can be a little bit slippery so don't go all gung-ho on it because you'll smash your thumb off. <laughs> Just hold the nail very lightly right in that spot and it might slip a couple times. You, you'll. The more practice, the more, the easier you'll get it. The nail's kind of wonky too. So then I just pull it out and I wiggle the nail out. And now, if you can see, I have a perfect hole in my bottle cap right there. So I can put a, um, jump ring through that just like I have on this one you can see there's the jump ring and that image inside I actually made myself it's a bird cage with roses it's kind of hard to see um but you can purchase digital images on Etsy um I don't sell any but I did make those ones I suppose I can put them somewhere if anybody wants the bird cage ones just email me and I'll send them to you um, these ones I purchased off Etsy. They're really beautiful. I don't happen to have the name handy of the person I purchased them from, but I'll put a link below. Um, this particular set has one inch circles as well as various other sizes. All the way up to, I believe these ones are one inch. What size is this? This is two inch, right? I think these ones are two inch. Well, it would help if I could reach it. Yeah, the top ones are two inch. So this particular set has both sizes. Um, these ones I also purchased, they're called Clock Faces Antique Floral. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. I'll put, hang on, this camera is rather annoying with the zoom. There you go. Can you guys even see that? Really pretty, right? And I'll show you these ones really quick up close. I know this camera is not really going to do them justice, but they're beautiful. Okay. So again, I will put in the description bar below who I purchased these particular images off of. However, if you type in one inch digital circles in search in Etsy, you will find thousands of images. I spend hours, literally hours, um, going through images after images after images to find what I consider to be really beautiful ones but there's tons of, of nice ones okay so moving on with the tutorial what you'll do now is you'll print out your one inch circles um, select the one that you like I think I'll do I'll do two because I'm gonna show you guys two ways to cover them I even on frame so you just center your punch around the image. Oh, not like that. Center your punch around the image like so, and then just pop it out. I have my window open, so I'm um, sorry about the fire truck. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys can probably hear that. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, and I'm gonna do two at once here, is I'm gonna use Scotch Quick Dry for the, the sake of this tutorial because it dries quicker 
and just put a little bit. Make sure you got the edges surrounded, but I think I put a little bit too much in there. And uh, yeah, don't put too much because then it'll start to ooze out the sides and you know. It's not. And excuse my fingers, I was working with resin outside and you're supposed to have gloves on. But I did not have any, so I just sort of went for it and now my fingers are covered in resin. So I'm going to have to deal, live with that for a few days. Now make sure once you get your image in the bottle cap that you um, adjust it so that it's lined up with the hole. So that it's all s straight the direction that you want it. And then what I like to do is I go around the edges and I just push down with my fingernail. Just to make sure the edges are all nice and sealed. Sorry. So I go around the edges just to make sure that there's nice and there's a nice seal there. I'm not sure if that's really necessary, but that's what I do. Okay, so there's image number one. Oh. Okay, so there's my second image. So when you buy bottle caps, you can also purchase uh, epoxy dome stickers, they're called, and they come with a plastic coating over top to protect them from any scratches or anything. And they're as simple as just popping it off and popping it onto your image like so. And what I do once I do that is I go around and I push down on it because you can actually see if you look closely enough the air trapped underneath it. So there's your image right there with the nice glossy dome. Now the other way that you can, um, if you don't have epoxy dome stickers, you can put glossy accents over the top to give it a nice glass sort of look. Or now take your embossing pad, embossing ink, sorry, whatever. You know what I mean. I'm using Versamark here. And I just uh, <laughs> push it down till it gets the image nice and soaked. And then what I'm going to do is use a Kleenex. Oh, maybe not a mud of Kleenex. Here we go. And I'm going to just wipe the edges. Because you get Versamark on the edge as well. I hope I'm in frame. So just give the edges a quick wipe. Take your embossing powder. I use a spoon. Flatten it down so you get a nice even. It doesn't particularly matter if you get embossing, clear embossing powder on the silver part because you're not going to see it. You know, like I said, dye, make sure you dye the metal before you do this because you won't be able to dye it afterwards. Now if you want, you can take your Kleenex one more time and just sort of lightly go around the edge. Now um, you can't just heat gun this because it will blow the UD everywhere because you have such a thick layer on there. So what I do is I use a barbecue lighter. Now try not to set your house on fire. I just find that this seems to work for me. There's a little speck of something in my powder there, I can see.
The other, oh, I don't know if you could do that. The other thing you could do is put it in your oven. Probably for, uh, on a low temperature. My, level, my surface is not quite level. <laughs> now, it's metal, so it's going to be really hot. If you feel like you need a little bit more embossing powder, you can um, throw it in there right now. Sprinkle, don't throw. Now, that's super hot, so don't pick it up. <laughs> I'll pick it up for the sake of the video. Oh, it's really hot though. And as you can see, hopefully you can see in the Oh my gosh, it's too hot. <laughs> hold on. I need something to hold it. Um, what can I use to hold it? No, no, no. I'll put it on here. Okay. So as you can see, hopefully, now that's covered with UD. Really nice. Um, I know the flip cam doesn't focus very well. Let me get around here. But it's got a nice shine to it. I don't think you guys are seeing it. Oops. Oh, it's dry now anyway. I don't think you guys are going to be able to see it in the flip cam. It has a really nice shine to it. And that's just clear beauty with a barbecue lighter. Because I don't have a melting pot. And I don't have enough UD to be melting anyway, but, um, yeah, that works just as well. And it's actually kind of, it's kind of prettier in a way from the epoxy stickers. I'll show them to you side by side. They're actually both really nice. This one seems to have a little bit more of a homemade feel to it. The one with the UD. I can never see if I'm in camera. So there's the epoxy dome sticker and there's the UD, clear UD. Okay, so that's my tutorial. Um, if I left anything out or you have any questions, please feel free to ask and I will be happy to answer. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.